Okay, in this video, I'm gonna walk through how to extract the audio from, say, a YouTube clip on my laptop um, into a track in Ableton Live um, using my Focus 18i8 audio interface and the loopback function. Um, so quite often, what you might wanna do with a backing track is have the audio um, in this case from uh, the fantastic I Love You Porgy uh, by uh, George Gershwin on um, Porgy and Bess um, in order to play over and record multiple times in your um, in your digital audio workstation or door. Um, but it's not just a simple, there's no wires that I can connect. I could connect my output and route that back in. Um, however, with the Focus Scarlet um, uh, from the 4i4 upwards, you have the handy addition of a loopback function, which will route the audio that's coming out of my um, my video here into a track on um, Ableton Live. So the first thing that we need to do is um, pay attention to which channels the loopback actually occurs on and configure that in Ableton Live. So um, if you go on to the Focusrite Help Center, there is a, um, a lot of instructions on how to use the loopback. There's another video as well, um, but just thought this would be handy for uh, people that, that know me to do this. Um, and this chart here, part way down the, the page, has the important information. So depending on your version, it's different channels. Now, I don't know why it's different channels for the 18i8 of the 18i20 and why the spdifs have been switched with the loopback. There doesn't seem to be any particular reason for that, but um, that's the way it is. So for me, I'm on an 18i8, so the channels that my loopback is gonna come through are 11 and 12. Um, in addition, once that's done, I also need to configure inside my Focusrite control, I need to configure the mix for my loopback. So I could have um, playback from my door, I could have um, hardware input and so on, um, I could have some custom mix. So in this case, I actually have a custom mix set um, which is currently on playback one and two. Sometimes I, I had in um, three and four as well, if I had audio routing and, and various other things. But for the moment, we've just got um, playback one and two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play some of this track, um, which you'll start to hear as it comes through. And one, you should start two, to see this is showing three, in the mixer four. here. Um, but my talking voice is not occurring through there at all. So my microphone input is not being routed to this playback whatsoever. Um, it's just the audio itself. So let's stop that. So the next thing that we need to do is configure the, um, the track in Ableton Live itself. So you'll see here I've got a, an audio track selected. And down here um, I have external in selected and currently uh, microphone one, which is my ADK A51, which I'm talking through as, uh, at the moment, which is why you can see some action on there. Now, to configure those, you would go into settings, and then where you have the um, audio input device, make sure that's set to your Scarlett um, audio interface, and if you go to the input config, you can select the appropriate channels um, that the loopback is occurring on. So. In my case it's 11 and 12 so I've already set those um, as an input and I've called it loopback for a handy um, kind of handy use in the future so once that's done um, what I can do is I can set the input down here for my track to my 11 12 loopback so that's a stereo input there and what what's going to happen now is if I arm this track with the record button um, and I set play over here you'll see that we now have some input um, into the track um, so we can then record that what's really important at this point is you do not turn monitoring on if you turn monitoring on that's going to feed back into this and you're just going to get a horrible squeal um, so you can monitor this for a little bit set the levels um, and then once that's done it's literally a case of coming into your track over here setting it going to where you want so i'm going to return it to the start i'm going to come here and click record in fact, actually, before I do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the tempo. So I know this track is at 150, uh, it's not at 150 BPM. I think it's at 60 something BPM. So let's uh, let's do an approximate clap. Uh, maybe it's 76, I'm gonna go with 76 BPM. Um, and
and then we can start to record and press play on our video and now over here as we start to watch the, uh, One, the track you'll two, see that we're recording three, four. Um, the, the whole track here and that's going to um, be something that I can now reuse and play over and use as my, uh, my backing track for um, playing over and submitting videos and so on and mixing appropriately and kind of do as many texts as I like now with that without having to worry about coming in at exactly the right time and so on. Um, so that's it, that's uh, a quick setup on how to use loopback in Audio Live. Uh, in, um